Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the power supply in your PS4 Pro. Now the first thing I want to say is if you don't feel comfortable with this job, just don't try it. It's not worth damaging something on your PS4 Pro. Now let's get into the repair. Now before we get started, there's a couple tools you're going to need. You're going to need a Torx T8 or T9 screwdriver. I'm using an electric screwdriver, but you'll probably just want to use a regular screwdriver for this job. You also need a set of needle nose pliers. A small set works the best, and you'll want to make sure that the teeth on the end are nice and sharp so you can really grab into the connector we need to get off. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And you're also going to need the power supply for the PS4 Pro. So what you're going to want to do is take off the top cover and the bottom cover of your PS4 Pro, and I'll show you how to do that now. For the top cover, you pull up over on this corner. It's going to sound, there's going to be some uh, popping sounds like you heard, and then the same over here, and same popping sounds. And then what you're going to want to do is pull this backwards towards you like this and kind of wiggle it around as you go, and that gets that off and we'll set that aside. And right away, the first thing you see is the power supply right up here. It's got this big metal plate on it, and there are five screws, and this is where you'll use your T8 or T9 screwdriver. But before we do that, we're gonna flip it over and take off the other cover. So what we'll need to do is remove, if yours has the warranty stickers, you will need to remove those, and keep in mind that will void any warranty. So if you're under warranty, then just send it in for repair or take it in for exchange. Assuming that you're not under warranty, you want to peel those stickers off, take those two black screws out, and then there's another black screw right under the hard drive cover right here. So we'll take those off next. Now that all those are off, you can pop this cover off similar to the other cover, and we're going to pull right on this side. And then we'll also pull on this side, and then we'll kind of pull right here in the middle as well. And you can hear those clips disengaging. Once it's loose right here, you'll want to slide it back. You may need to wiggle it a little bit like this, and that gets that cover off. The reason you need to take that cover off is because there's two screws, one screw right here and one screw right there that, that screw down into the power supply. So those two screws need to be removed before you can actually remove the power supply. Now that those screws are removed, we can flip it over and remove the power supply screws. Now these screws are all the same, same size as the other screws, so you can just put them all in one little pile. Now we've got the power supply, all the screws out. Now we need to pull it loose, but do not pull it all the way away from the motherboard just yet. So to pull it loose, we're gonna get our fingers right in here. I'll show you where my finger is. It's right under here, kind of right where this screw hole is. And then also on the other side. Once you get your fingers there, you can kind of keep wiggling it and it'll wiggle until it finally comes out. Now, you'll want to just remove the power supply enough to be able to get to this cable connector right here. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is get your pliers out and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see exactly where you need to put your pliers on this thing. Now there's two things you need to make a note of. There's the power supply connector that is soldered directly to the motherboard. And then there's these four wires that go into the connector that plugs into the motherboard connector. You want to remove this connector with the four wires attached to it. Do not pull on the connector that attaches to the motherboard. We fix these all the time from people that pull that whole connector right off and then we have to fix them and solder it back onto the motherboard. So I'm going to get my, my pliers in here right on the connector on each end of it and this is where a pair of sharp pliers comes into play. I'm gonna wiggle it back and forth as I pull out slowly and then keep pulling until it comes off, just like that. And now we have the power supply connector removed from the connector on the motherboard. So your power supply may or may not come with this cable. If it doesn't come with it, you need to take it off of your old one and install it onto your new one. You'll plug it in there and then make sure that it's tucked around this little clip right here. We're going to put the wires down first, just plug them into that connector, and then line up your power supply and kind of wiggle it as it goes down. And then you'll need to push down on all the sides of this until it sits in there neatly just like that. After that's done, just install all the screws back onto the power supply. After the screws are in the power supply, we need to flip it over and install those other two screws onto the other side of the PS4 Pro. Now that those screws are in, we can install the top cover and the bottom cover. 
Now you want to make sure that the front, this is the front, the front is facing the front and that slides on like this first. And you want to make sure it's all the way slid on and then you'll push down right here and you'll want to make sure you can see these tabs are going in there not correctly. So we need to make sure it's pushed all the way forward. Check your tabs back here and make sure they're lined up as you push them down and now they're on there correctly. Now that that's on, I'm gonna flip it over and, and install these three screws and the hard drive cover. Now for the top cover, we'll wanna make sure the front is facing the front. Put the back on first, like this. You can see this is up in the air, so it's angled up. Slide it forward, and then we'll lower the front down and slide it forward as we go. You'll hear it clip into place. Make sure and push all around all the edges till it's all the way clipped in and we're done. Thanks for watching my PS4 Pro power supply replacement video. If you have any questions, leave them in the questions and comments section. If you need yours repaired, you can send it in to us for repair. Our website is tronicsfix.com. You can also contact me on my website at tronicsfix.com if you have a question about this repair or any of the other repairs I do. Thanks again for watching and have a good one.